Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's uh, third video. So day 10 will take us to the 30th of October. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, which gets us well into the second half of November now. I shall get on with that for you very shortly. Just say about the first video we say was our 7 a.m. forecast. We've also released the USA forecast, and uh, we've got our second sneak peek for Christmas 2021 coming up for you at 7 p.m. this evening. So we released the first uh, sneak peek for Christmas a couple of weeks ago. Update number two, or second sneak peek, is coming up. Uh, this season going to be an interesting uh, watch, so make sure you're around the channel at 7pm uh, uh, for that one for a bit of Christmas fun as we have our little sneaky peeky. Right, okay, let's turn off webcam then. Going to start off this video having a look at the latest uh, temperature observations. So it's still warm in the southeast. We've had a lot of thundery rain over the last uh, few hours, and that is cooling things down. But it is still warm in the southeast. The warmth is clinging on by its fingertips in the southeast corner. We're still up to 18 degrees uh, there. However, cooler air is digging in from the north and northwest. If we go to Scotland, we see that Abbeymore is only at 10 degrees out higher at just 10 degrees. Belfast has dropped down to 10 degrees now as well. Shap is at just 11. Uh, Albemarle is at 11 as well. Estelle Muir at just 9 degrees and coming down into North Wales just uh, 12 degrees at Capel Curry. 15 at Shawbury, so still not too bad. That's about average probably for uh, the middle of October. In Midlands at 15 degrees. It is cooled down yesterday though. Cranwell at 16 degrees. Connorsby at 16 degrees. And uh, Wellsbourne at 17. And then we get into South East Corner where it's a lot warmer. So uh, 15 at Kenley and, and, and uh, 16 degrees at Sunset. And then we have these stations flash away like South Bend at uh, 18 degrees. These cooler temperatures, colder temperatures are digging in from the north though. They will push increasingly further southwards for the rest of the day tonight and into tomorrow. So centering temperature is uh, looking like this. We're still in the 12s, actually. I thought it might pop up to 13 degrees today after yesterday's really warm day. But we're still standing, or well, we are standing at 12.8. I think it's ticked up a little bit, but not much uh, from yesterday. 12.8, that's one and a half degrees above average. That is provisional to the uh, 19th of October. That will start to lower a little bit, I think, as we go into the end of the week. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. On the Birmingham today, so red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. We're starting off above average at the moment, although temperatures are coming down. It's nowhere near as warm as it was yesterday. And by tomorrow and into Friday, we actually go colder than average. So, a uh, big change coming up. You will notice the chill uh, across the whole country by tomorrow. Uh, not lasting all that long. Into the weekend, we open up next week. We go back up close to or a little bit above as you went further on into next week. We get another push of really quite warm upper air temperatures for a couple of days uh, around the middle to latter part of next week before we then start to come down as we move into the first week of November. Precipitation wise, uh, got plenty of rain around or have had plenty of rain around today. Most of that will be clearing away. Uh, over the next uh, 12, 24 hours. Very wet across some counties tonight, though. Um, then a few days of drier weather as it gets colder. We will have a few days of drier weather through the rest of the week and into the early part of the weekend. Then later in the weekend and into next week, it will turn more unsettled once again. Temperature anomalies from the 20th to 28th of October, above average. It's going to be a mild average week overall. I see with a cold snap for a couple of days at the end of the week. And precipitation anomalies from the 20th, 28th of October. Largely dry on average, actually, through central, northern and east. There is a little bit wet on average in the far southeast and also in the far northwest. The latest wind flow map from earthnoldschool.net shows that low pressure is in control of the weather now and would bring the air in from off the Atlantic. So we've got lots of low pressure up here. There's actually a cold front uh, there that's uh, going to induce colder air, even colder air, uh, from the north for the second half of the week. Um, but low pressure is dominating uh, the weather and, uh, yeah, it's a different air mass now that we are in. And this low pressure will be uh, sort of in control, you know, uh, over the next 24 hours or so. However, by the end of week into weekend, we'll be under a little ridge of high pressure. So uh, this is how the latest UK Met run is looking. Let's just turn webcam 
back on, shall we? Hello, for turn. Right, so this is our latest uh, UK Met is looking for Saturday. There's a slight little transient bump of high pressure then uh, on Saturday, but that will quickly be moved away from Sunday into Monday. Low pressure heads in both the Atlantic that bring cloud and rain, particularly to northern and western areas. So let's go through into the middle part of next week. Um, again, we're looking rather unsettled here uh, with uh, winds coming in off the Atlantic. It will be quite mild though, southwesterly influences. And high pressure never all that far from the south-southwest. Could bring some drier weather to southern areas and most unsettled weather through next week, probably in the northwest. This is how the midnight uh, GFS run is looking again. We've got this little ridge here on Saturday. That will soon be flattened off, though. We're sunny into Monday as low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. will bring further outbreaks of rain, particularly to northern and western areas. Middle of next week, we strengthen the heights to our south, start to reach out a little bit further north, so southern areas might start to, um, a little bit drier. Meanwhile, further north, it will remain very unsettled, wet and windy up there. Through the second half of next week, high pressure will be to our south and southeast. Low pressure to our north and northwest means that northern and western areas will be quite wet and windy. The south and southeast will be drier, though, and uh, quite a lot warmer as well. We get to day 10, and it looks like we start to bring low pressure, or generally in off the Atlantic, I'll probably bring wet weather even into southern areas. Finishing up there by the end of October, last day of the month, with a big dartboard load right over top of the coach. So that will bring lots of heavy rain uh, with it. And then into early November, it looks very unsettled in the extended range with this GFS uh, midnight run. Low pressure just rattling in from off the Atlantic, bringing plenty of uh, wind and rain as it does so. That's how we finish up on the 5th of November. Bonfire night looking traditionally wet and windy with low pressure, deep low pressure. Northwest of Scotland, bouts of rain sweeping in from off the Atlantic. A very wet start to November, if that is right. Mrs. Howby, Jeff S6 is looking again. High pressure is ridging through the country on Saturday but is moved away by Sunday as low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. That brings showers and long spells of rain through uh, the latter part of the weekend and into the upper part of next week. Heading into the middle of next week, again, heights rising over France, sending a ridge into the south. Should bring a reasonable amount of dry weather to England and Wales through the middle part of next week and quite warm too. Meanwhile, Scotland and Northern Ireland continues to look pretty unsettled with uh, outbreaks of rain. Second half of next week, we'll see that high pressure is slipping more towards the eastern part of Europe, but still exerting an influence, actually. So the six set is reasonably dry through next week, actually, through southern and eastern parts. Actually, always the wettest weather with that is towards the northwest. You would have to watch out for some fog beginning to get going, I think, through next week. At that ridge of high pressure. By day 10, low pressure then is starting to break through. Uh, and as we go into the extended range with the uh, GFS 6 set, again, it looks very unsettled as we move into early November. Deep low pressure bringing bouts of rain and strong winds as well. Uh, we, we really unleash the Atlantic for the early part of November. But, 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 for England and Wales, anyway, next week does have quite a lot of dry weather and pretty mild too. Uh, moving on to a GM. If you're enjoying the video, then please smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much, everybody. So, uh, GM has a ridge again on Saturday. Moves out to dry weather before that gets moved away into Sunday as lower pressure comes in off the Atlantic. There will be some rain, I think, crossing the country through the second half of the coming weekend. Into early next week, again, looking quite wet and windy, particularly so to northern and western areas. Maybe a little bit more unsettled with the GM uh, for southern areas as well. Not as much of a ridge from France through next week into the south and east. So that's a question mark through next week. You know, how unsettled will it be? Will the wind and rain be mostly confined to the northwest or will it get down into the south and the southeast? That's to be confirmed. Um, heading towards the end of October by day 10, we look very unsettled then with the uh, GM. Deep low pressure, bringing bouts of rain, strong winds, and also raising the heights a little bit towards Greenland, you will notice. So maybe hinting at like a cold, wet start to November. And then we've got the ECM uh, looking like this again with a ridge through the country on Saturday. Should be quite a lot of dry weather through the early part of the weekend. Then the ridge gets pushed away from sunny to muddy as low pressure comes in off the Atlantic from a band of rain. Uh, across the country early to middle part of next week. Again, similar to the GFS actually with the ECM, raising the heights more from the Azores high into the south. Should keep southern areas largely protected 
from the wet weather to the middle of next week. But what rain there is, probably mostly in the northwest. It should be pretty mild as well. That's Thursday with the ECM. Again, high pressure over France regime from the Azores. Should keep southern parts of England and Wales mainly dry. It does look more unsettled though for Scotland and Northern Ireland. So it's got the GFS and the ECM. Both ridging up that high pressure from France into the south through next week. I would suggest that next week probably won't be that wet down across southern areas. Remember, GEM though does look a lot more unsettled. At day 10, I've uh, got high pressure still there to our south southeast, still keeping many southern counties. We've got 1,020 millibar, uh, you know, uh, isobar through the south. So it's, that should still keep many southern counties largely dry right way up to month's end, actually. Uh, Cloud Raymo further northwards and westwards. Of course, that's as far as we get to with the uh, ECM. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Metro.com. So we've got a real deluge coming up tonight from this little low zipping across the south coast um, and, and through southern counties. That brings very wet weather to central southern parts of England and Wales uh, tonight. That'll get out of the way tomorrow morning and then we're into like a showery scenario uh, really through the course of tomorrow. Uh, some of the showers could be a little bit wintry up in the north. Uh, heading into Friday, a lot of dry weather into the end of the week. A few showers scattered about here and there, but plenty of dry, fine conditions. And that lasts into Saturday before low pressure then starts to move in from off the Atlantic. Um, the rain becomes quite light and patchy over south southeast through Sunday into Monday. What wet weather there is, in particularly in northern and western areas. And then early next week, more showers packing into west, mainly dry through central and eastern areas. And that's really the way of it through uh, the rest of next week. Wet in the north and northwest, drier in the south and in the southeast as well. Moving up towards day 10, we get away from it, it gets a bit str uh, stuck and strung out through the central areas, bringing pulses of rain in central parts of the country on either side looking mostly dry. It will be colder in the north, uh, to the north of that band of rain. It will be quite mild though down in the south. Uh, right, so we'll just turn the webcam off there. We'll have a look at the ensemble table within the ECM ensembles uh, for day 10 uh, from the Icelandic Met Office. As I say, this gets us to the 30th of November, 23, uh, 30th of October, I should say. 23 members of the ECM ensembles reaching high pressure up from the south uh, with low pressure up to the north. That brings quite a bit of dry weather into particularly southern and eastern areas, northern and western areas, more unsettled. 16, though, with deep low pressure coming in. That's like what the GM is showing, uh, bringing plenty of wet weather in off the Atlantic. And then 10, which does include the operational run, have high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, and to the northeast. And so that should bring a really amount of drive out to southern counties, but will be unsettled through central and northern regions. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 4th of November, uh, 19 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure. Through the western side of Europe, that's going to be cool and wet. 17 uh, with deep low pressure to our north. And again, we're bringing in a wind like that and jet stream. So that's cold and wet probably uh, does include the control run as well and then 15 a minority option with much more in way of high pressure that's going to be a drier but potentially slightly uh cool scenario that might give some overnight frost and fog uh so there's me two last evening so 500 millibar heights break down to week pier so first week pier takes from 20th 26th of october the coming week has high pressure away to southwest low pressure to the northeast. This brings the driest weather to southern and southwestern areas, the wettest weather to northern areas. Into uh, week two, which is the 27th of October to 2nd of November. Again, high pressure is to the south, low pressure is to the north. Wettest weather is therefore across northern and northwestern areas. Driest weather is across southern and eastern and southeastern parts of the country. Week 3 will be the February to the 9th of November with high pressure then over and to the east of the country. Low pressure being pushed away into the Atlantic. That should turn mainly dry and could be very mild actually that. That could be a really, really mild scenario. The only thing you've got to watch out for is that we might get some fog uh, by night developing which would limit the temperature potential. But otherwise that could be a very mild start to November. And then uh, week 4 is the temporary to the 16th of November. High pressure veins sort of centred over sites of West Country and also building over Scandinavia. Um, so quite anti-cyclone and probably getting a little bit colder as well. Maybe start to pull wind in slightly more from a northwesterly direction. So drier, colder there into week four. You'll notice still the hint there of a bit of a Scandinavian high, albeit this time 
it's not the driving high pressure, it's not the dominant high pressure, but still a hint of a little bit of a rich air over Scandinavia in week four, which is something we had yesterday, of course. So we keep an eye on that. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Right, so we come to the end of the uh, video. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, watching. If you enjoyed the video, then smash the like button. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. You may see future weather content if you do that. And tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. Drop a comment. Let us know anything about this and all of our videos. Got to put on around 60 subscribers now, that's all, to get to 12.4K, uh, get 12,400 subscribers. So if you could give us a sub and help get us to 12,400 subscribers, that would be absolutely fantastic. And tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. Right, so uh, we're done with that one. Uh, we're back to, at 7pm having a look at Christmas. Yes, we will. <laughs> it may be October, but we can't, no reason can't do like a sneak peek for Christmas. We've already done one. Uh, we're going to do another one tonight at 7pm. And there'll probably be a third and final one before the end of the month, I would have thought. And then Christmas updates proper will begin. The Christmas countdown begins on the 2nd of November. So not long to go before we formally begin the Christmas countdown, but we will have our sneak peek for Christmas, second one, coming up for you tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 7am forecast. Uh, we're also, tomorrow, going to have the European Outlook and a 10 to 14 there. It's going to include all the red features again. Uh, so lots going on. Keep checking back for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.